and welcome. My name is Jen. If you haven't met me before, I am a gardener up in northern Canada. I'm up in Alberta. And right now it's the end of December and I thought I would just do a video reminiscing on 2021 and how it went for us out here. Some of you guys have followed me for a while now. I've been on Instagram for probably two years now, two solid years, and I've grown a, quite a community on there of like-minded people or people that just want to learn about gardening and living a little bit more off the land, um, picking up some skills like canning, uh, raising your own chickens. And I've just been so thankful for this community that I have uh, surrounded myself with over the last couple of years. And I just wanted to take a look back at 2021 and talk about some of the things that worked really well for us and talk about some of the things that we maybe wish we would have done better or could have done better and some of the things we've accomplished, kind of like this building right here. I'm standing in my new greenhouse that we built this year. Um, it was a bit of a labor of love. I have painted every square inch of this building. I helped design the, well actually I designed the entire thing from scratch. I learned a lot about greenhouse design, made a few mistakes along the way. Um, we'll see how it goes this year with this new building. Um, I also have a lot of help this year and I'm just, uh, what the first thing I really want to do is give a lot of thanks to all the people in my life that have really stepped up and helped my family grow because one thing I've learned along this journey is that you actually can't really do it yourself. As much as you, you, you might be able to, but it's really difficult to be able to do it yourself. And when you surround yourself with like-minded people, like my virtual community, as well as people close to you, um, you can actually do some pretty amazing things with a few hands together. Um, so that's the first thing I want to do is give thanks. I have learned over the years after doing different reading. Um, one of my favorite books that comes to mind is 1000 Gifts by Anne Voskamp. And I just re reminisce on how it's really important to give thanks all the time, to look at the things in your life that are really important to you, um, that bring you joy, and focus really hard on those things, um, especially in years like we've had for the last couple of years. So one of my goals going forward into the new year is to be giving thanks. So every day I really want to focus in on finding the things that I'm thankful for. So I just hope you guys are able to do the same. So looking back on 2021, um, it started pretty good actually. It was a pretty good year. We started early this year on raising chickens. We had an incubator that worked really well for us and we were able to raise a couple different breeds of chickens that I really wanted. Um, one of my goals always is to get rainbow eggs. I know it's crazy as a goal in life, but rainbow eggs are really cool. I know you go to the grocery store and you get brown eggs or you get white eggs, but it's pretty cool to have an entire rainbow of eggs. So I was pretty proud of the chickens that we were able to hatch. I learned some new skills with some of our chicks that had some hatching problems. We had some splay leg, we had some pasty butt, we had all sorts of things that if you've never raised chickens before, you learn about pretty quickly. So we, um, that was one of our first big hits, I guess, for 2021. Um, we also got some new turkeys this year and we also got some ducks this year. We hatched some ducks and we had some friends hatch some ducks and we took them back for them. And so now we have lots of ducks, which is pretty awesome. So out here now we've got chickens, ducks, turkeys. Oh, and we also had a couple of different litters of rabbits. So my son, he actually, if you haven't seen our page before, he raises rabbits. Um, he will be doing giant Flemish rabbits this year, and he will also be doing lion head rabbits. And he just loves those guys, but they're so cute. So we'll have some new litters here in the spring coming. Um, and that leads to, I guess, one of our other things that we did this year that was pretty exciting. We built a new bunny hutch that I designed as well. Um, we decided that we would colony raise our rabbits and I'll talk about that probably in another video down the road. But again, this is a recap and giving thanks. So um, we were able to build a new building for our rabbits, a new colony for them, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, we'll be building one more in the future, like in the following spring but the one that we built is pretty exciting. We decided to build it as an open concept colony 
where we would have it more open to the air. Um, rabbits tend to overheat, so it's really important to give them enough um, ventilation is really important. So with my design, that's what I went with, and they seem to do really well in the winter. It's okay. Like right now, it's very, very cold outside. It's probably going to hit record lows this week in our area, and the rabbits seem to be doing just fine with it. Um, so what are some of the other hits that we had this year? Um, we, of course, built this greenhouse. This greenhouse took me the better part of the year to build, design, procure materials. Um, I had help building it. I can't build this sort of thing myself. I really wanted it done properly. So I called in some of my expert friends um, and got them to help me build this particular building. Uh, we had some ups. We had some downs with it. Our heating didn't quite work the way that I wanted it to. Uh, we had one wood stove, not this one. We had one wood stove, too small. Then we got this wood stove, still not going to be quite what we need. So we're going to get a gas line put in here in the spring as well. We actually, I actually trenched the gas line already. So the furnace, I guess is what I'm trying to say, is going to be coming here in the spring, um, which will be great because then we're going to be able to garden longer in this northern climate. Um, I do have to get really creative in the northern climate. It's not always easy to garden, but I found ways that I can extend my gardening. So this building, I give thanks for. I also really give thanks for the people that are able to come out and enjoy this building with me. So I've opened it up. I've created a bit of a business with this building um, so that other people can enjoy what I've been able to build. Some other hits, uh, the garden this year, despite the fact that we had no rain for months and we almost drained our dugout, I think it was a big hit this year. Um, our carrots were fantastic. Our um, cabbages, I would say, my cabbages were one of the, my favorite things to grow this year. What else did really well? Um, my sunflowers. I decided to start planting sunflowers. If you guys followed me, you probably saw that little endeavor. I follow Birch Acres and she said, throw some sunflower seeds into the ground. And so I went and got some black oil sunflower seeds and I thought, What's the worst thing that can happen? And so I threw, well, actually I didn't, I threw the sunflower seeds up in the air and where they landed, they stayed. And we were gifted the most beautiful sunflower patch this year. That leads me to what we're gonna be doing next year. So next year I've actually tilled up some new sections and we're gonna be having a small you pick sunflower field and photography place for people to come out to. So that was a really big hit this year as well was my sunflowers which kind of led me to expanding my flower fields, farm, call it what you will. I'm really gonna be expanding my flowers next year. I have noticed, um, a, not a need necessarily, but a want for people to come and have a place to do photography. And I think it's kind of neat that I can open up what we've built into a place as well that people can come and take photos. Um, so that's gonna be happening this year, which is pretty exciting. So again, I give thanks for my sunflowers. I've ordered a whole bunch of new varieties for next year, and I'm really excited about what that's going to bring. Some other hits in my garden. What did we have that worked well? Oh, my tomatoes were fantastic this year. They could have used a little bit more water again. Like I said, we almost drained out our entire dugout. It got really, really low. And so I'm really thankful for all this snow back there behind us because it's going to help fill up, fill up dugouts in the spring. Um, some misses. Oh, my strawberries. My strawberries gave me a headache this year. And my friend um, Candy over at New Zealand Gardener, I'm going to, NZ Gardener, I'm going to have to go and follow her and her strawberry picking or growing, I mean, a lot more because she's fantastic with it. And I need some lessons on my strawberries. Um, they got planted and replanted and moved and they just weren't happy at all with me. And they were also not happy with the fact that we had no water. So um, I, sh I needed to water them more. Some other misses. Hmm. Oh, we had frost. We had frost on June the 8th this year. Can you even believe that? I had planted everything out thinking we had gone past the last frost. I was all excited and I went out in the morning. Peppers, gone. Beans, gone. Tomatoes, ink. Some of them I didn't even plant yet, so I was lucky. Um, but I just lost a whole bunch of stuff right in June. So that's going to get me thinking next year. 
my neighbor, my neighbor right beside me didn't lose anything. They thought, they actually made a joke. He said he wanted to like come spray my garden and make it look like the frost had killed everything. And the next morning we woke up to frost. So he kind of jinxed me, I think is what happened. So that was a miss. I missed this year as well. Oh my goodness. The fact that we had no rain. Like that was incredible this year that we were able to get through that. We had months and months and months with like maybe this much rain one day out of two months. It was insane. But again, I give thanks for the water that we do have on this property. Um, what else was a big hit this year? You know, we've had a busy year. I think between expanding this building and my operations for next year, as well as the garden that we currently have and adding in new flower fields. It's going to be a pretty amazing year next year. I've already started some of my new starts in the garage already, which is pretty exciting. Um, and I'm excited about all the flowers that are going to be growing as well and the vegetables. I've got all my seed orders in already and this week I'm working on cataloging and inventory and organizing all my seeds for next year because right now we are in a cold snap, so I've got to have something to do um, inside. <laughs> so it's a great time to do that. It's also a great time to settle down with family over this Christmas season and again, give thanks for all the things that I've been given this year. Um, I really look forward to having you guys follow me along this journey of as I call it, small steps. Um, one thing that I always think about is little by little, one goes far. And where we are now, lots of people can come and say, oh my goodness, this place is amazing. You look what you've done. How do you do it? And the truth is, is this is really a culmination of, like I said before, the hands of many, many people that are involved. But it's also a culmination of 20 years of hoping and planning and working towards getting to where we are right now. So. This year, again, I'm going to make some steps for the following year. I always love to plan in January, plan out not necessarily my year or make um, resolutions, but plan goals for that year and what I want to see, where I want to see things go and the, the little steps that I need to get there. Because if I just take one little step and then add a little step and then add a little step, we can go really far and I know you guys can too. So if there's things that you want to do around your place, if there are uh, projects that you want to do and you need some inspiration, come chat with me. I'm always around. I'm here to sort of lend a hand with how you can get from A to B to C to D with those little steps. And I really appreciate you guys. Um, thank you so much for this community. I hope that you guys have a fantastic new year and that you are able to also take the little steps that you want to, to do amazing things in your lives. Thanks again, appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoyed my 2021 recap and look forward to seeing you all in the new year.